Often we have harmful behaviors in our lives that can prevent us from reaching our full potential, but we are not aware of which behaviors these are. Epictetus, the famous Stoic philosopher, pointed out two major flaws in our lives, lack of perseverance and lack of self-control. This highlights the need to continue and resist, even when we are not motivated. Developing positive behaviors is a challenge that requires consistency and the practice of self-control, avoiding temptations and harmful behaviors that block our growth. Without eliminating negative behaviors, virtues cannot fully flourish. Our goal on this channel is to explore ancient knowledge that will serve as a guide on this path of self-improvement. At this moment, there is nothing better than eliminating everything that influences us negatively. Let's distance ourselves from negative emotions that divert us from our goals, recognizing how these feelings can limit us. In this video, we will discuss seven common habits we should avoid to achieve a fulfilling and happy life. If you find this content valuable, we kindly ask for your support for the channel by liking this video and sharing it to spread this philosophy to a larger audience. Abandon the habit of seeking profit or recognition in everything you do. If you have acted competently, helped someone, or succeeded, do not expect approval or praise from others. Believing that others should recognize you will only lead to disappointment, as we cannot control the opinions of others. Focus on the purpose of the action itself, not on external recognition. Do what is right out of principle and personal satisfaction, not in a relentless pursuit of praise. Understand that by acting in this way, you will find inner fulfillment regardless of external recognition. Focus on giving your best, not on receiving recognition, as true satisfaction comes from the integrity and authenticity of your actions. Letting go of procrastination is essential. We agree that we often waste precious moments consuming adult content or spending hours on social networks, just looking for something interesting but always without absorbing anything. Or am I wrong? As Seneca wisely expressed, we complain that our days are limited, but we act as if they were infinite. We get distracted by trivial activities and postpone our obligations when laziness appears. We act as if eternity were our ally and ignore that time is the most valuable resource we have. Procrastinating not only delays our goals but also creates a sense of guilt and anxiety that affects our well-being. Refusing mediocrity and striving for excellence in all aspects of your life is a constant practice. If you analyze your journey, you will realize that on many occasions you did not give your best. Why expend energy on something that does not deserve your best? In every activity, try to give your best, as your effort is the only aspect under your control. We cannot control the outcome, success, or recognition from others, but we can control our dedication and effort. Do not settle for mediocrity if you have the potential to achieve excellence. Strive to exceed your own expectations and achieve a high standard in everything you do. Do not let anxiety dominate you, for, as Marcus Aurelius reminds us in his meditations, anxiety is not caused by external events, but by our thoughts about future events. Anxiety does not help us or improve our situation. It is just a thought that torments us, based on assumptions about the future. Recognize that, regardless of what the future holds, no matter how uncertain, you have overcome difficult situations in the past. Understand that you have the necessary resources to face any adversity that may arise. Learn to distinguish between what is out of your control and what is within your reach. And when you think of the worst possible scenario, you will often realize that the situation is less severe than you thought. We are not eternal. In fact, there is no guarantee that we will be alive tomorrow or even in a position to fulfill our desires. In the words of Marcus Aurelius, we can cease to live at any moment. We must allow this perception to guide our actions, 
words, and thoughts. It is wise to learn to value time to the extent it deserves. The first step to a meaningful life is to start treating time with the seriousness it deserves. Use each moment productively and consciously, and avoid wasting your time with unnecessary worries. Do not fear change, for, as Marcus Aurelius wrote in his Meditations, the destiny of all things is to change, transform, perish so that they may renew. Life is full of changes, both positive and negative. Stubbornly resisting change, except when it involves maintaining focus on uncontrollable elements, prevents us from discovering the countless opportunities life offers us. Instead of fearing change, we should embrace it, as it is inevitable and can be beneficial. Our focus should be on adapting to new circumstances and preserving what is valuable in the new that arises in our lives. Ending our current situation simply means that we should not fear change, as we have the ability to adapt to any challenge life presents us. Free yourself from emotional attachment to things, following the wise Stoic advice to learn to let go. Do not limit yourself to just physical detachment, but also emotionally. If you have made mistakes on your journey, do not torture yourself with guilt and regret. Learn from them so as not to repeat them. Although these emotions are normal and help us recognize our mistakes, once we have absorbed the lessons, we should avoid allowing them to continue tormenting us. We all make mistakes. Do not exaggerate your self-criticism and always seek opportunities to develop from errors. Developing the ability to detach emotionally will allow you to move forward with greater lightness and clarity. This video aims to help you eliminate harmful habits in your daily life, replacing them with beneficial practices that will assist in your evolution. You have the ability to follow the path to a more peaceful, joyful, and meaningful life. If this video has helped you in any way, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss upcoming videos, and I'm sure this video will also contribute to your evolution.